I could I could come in with a, a, a one point slightly changing hat here because I'm going to yeah. kind of put on the hat that uh, it comes with the Creative Industries Council where I chair the working group on apprenticeships and T levels. Now one of the issues, and and this is not solely uh, a, a problem for uh, the creative industries. There are plenty of other industries like this too, and I think in future because of COVID we will see an increase in this. The creative industries have a very large proportion of small and micro businesses uh, and that that is not easy for apprenticeships they also have a very high proportion of genuine freelancers uh, because a lot of the commissions are a few weeks possibly even a few days uh, and that really just fights against the whole uh, the set of rules for apprenticeships in fact you can't have an apprenticeship if you're not employed for 12 months now, in Amy's case at Framestore, that is easy because um, they do have long term employment at Framestore. But so many smaller companies, it's project by project. And we really need to make sure um, that, that we actually uh, find a way in the gig, gig economy of providing apprenticeships for everybody. Um, and so some of the things that we are looking at, it'd be interesting to hear Viren's uh, uh, take on this is a bit of a model, a bit like an open university de degree where it's modular and it can be taken with uh, over many, many, uh, possibly well, many more months than 12 months and possibly with different employers so that you, you gradually build up your competence to full competence over an extended period uh, by using these modular apprenticeships. And we're also looking at different agency models where an agency would employ essentially a freelance apprentice and would then loan them out to different productions and different projects. There are issues around there about how we work out how to fund the administration of the agency, because you can't fund that kind of thing from the apprenticeship levy because of current rules. So there are, I think there are a number of ways the government could really look at changing the apprenticeship uh, rules to make them much more open and recognize the fact that the world of work is changing rapidly and i think covid will bump it along extremely rapidly towards you know a more uh, uh, freelance uh, environment a more more of the gig economy and 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 that's going to be very difficult to promote apprenticeships in that environment 